Hi, I'm Madison and this is Device Guide. Today I will be talking about a book that's a little bit different than our normal fiction and fantasy that we cover on this channel. I'm talking about Home, a memoir of my early years by Julie Andrews. I have always loved biographies and memoirs growing up. I don't know if that makes me weird or anything, but I did. I don't know why. And I've always loved Julie Andrews. Some of my first favorite movies were Mary Poppins, Sound of Music, and then I grew into loving Eloise and as I got older, The Princess Diaries. And it actually took me a while to realize that the same woman was in all of those movies. And once I did, I realized that the common thread there was Julie Andrews and she became one of my favorite actors, actresses. When I found out that she had written a memoir of her early years, I had to read it. And I will say, if you are interested in reading this, there are two ways that I did this. I did it with the hardcover and I also did it with the audiobook. And I love the audiobook. It is Julie Andrews reading through this book with her, with you. And so it's kind of like sitting down with an older relative or your grandma and them telling you about their life story. And it was just very soothing and relaxing and I loved hearing her tell the stories. And it also includes bits of piano and some bits of her singing and different things like that which was very intriguing, very interesting, and added something to that audiobook. But if that's not something that you're interested in, the hardcover is also really amazing. I mean, let me take off the dust jacket. Look how beautiful it is without a dust jacket. This is just such a pretty book. And then also in the hardcover, there are pictures of her and her family growing up throughout the years. And I think that, that is just so cool. I love seeing her childhood pictures and stuff. It was really fun. So honestly, highly recommend this book. And I recommend both forms, honestly. <laughs> but let's get into the actual book. It starts off with her family history and kind of how her parents met and explaining where they came from to kind of explain how they act later on. And it goes all the way through to when after Julie has had her first child or her daughter and is about to go start her film career in Hollywood working on Mary Poppins. So obviously lots of her life is covered and I will be 100% honest, as big of a Julie Andrews fan as I am, I was very shocked by her childhood. I didn't realize how hard it was for her. You know, I always knew that her parents were interested in film and, or not film, on stage and stuff like that and that's how she got her start, but I didn't realize how difficult it was for her and her actually ending up being the sole provider of her family at such a young age. And also, I didn't realize that she was old enough to remember World War II, which I don't know why, but I think that her first-hand encounters were very interesting. The sole responsibility of her being blowing a whistle for her family and the neighborhood to understand if they should take shelter or not was such a large responsibility considering how young she was. But you know, I think that really explains a lot about her childhood and the responsibilities that she had. She eventually became the sole provider for her family while she was still a minor, which is absolutely insane for me to think. You know, she had to eventually purchase her family home in order to save it, which is crazy. Also, I think that it is amazing how detailed Julie gets in her stories. Um, you know, I think it's very interesting because it really, like, helps you kind of transport and be there with her the night of the event. And considering, like, when she's writing this, I think it's amazing how many small details she remembered. She clearly journaled and had record of these or just has an amazing memory because there's no way on earth I would remember the details that she remembers. Also, hearing about all of the different people that she got to meet. She got to sing for the king at a young age. She got to meet the queen. She got to meet Helen Keller. Like, there, and there's so many more people that she just casually name drops. Obviously, you know, she was a growing star. Like, it's so crazy to me that she just, I don't know. I can't get over that. That is so cool to me. Also, I think that it was interesting that she chose to stop before her Hollywood career and not her stage career taking off. Um, she could have easily stopped before My Fair Lady and said, you know, the next book is going to be about me actually making it, 
but she chose to stop after the birth of her daughter. But I thought it was very interesting. I highly recommend this book. I definitely would have given it 4 out of 5 stars, but you also have to remember I am biased because I love Julie Andrews, so hearing about her life is extremely entertaining for me. And so anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you are interested in the different book reviews we've done on this channel, we have a playlist of that. We also do other things besides book reviews, so if that interests you, you can go ahead and subscribe. If you like this video in particular, you can let me know by liking it. And comment down below, what were some of your childhood favorite movies? Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Bye!